services and devices. All right, welcome back. It's been a little bit of a dismal day, but we've got some sunshine on the way. As a matter of fact, you may see it just before the sun sets this evening. Yeah, we're already seeing that sunshine up towards Denver. There's the clearing line right there across parts of Douglas County. Still have a few more clouds around. Look at how the fog's getting a little bit worse. Uh, They're just north of Colorado Springs and areas just west of Canyon City. You see the red showing up there as indicative of about a tenth of a mile or less in terms of visibility. So hopefully you don't have to you know, run any errands right now because nothing is more alarming than you know driving along and kind of crest over a hill and then you start to go down and you think, OK, I really can't see much of anything right now. That's kind of how it's going to feel if you're in northern El Paso County right around this area east of Highway 83 around Black Forest. It's just got some very patchy, dense fog sitting uh, in some of those uh, low lying areas east of I-25. Uh, temperatures as we move through the Saturday time frame are going to be into the 80s. So we are talking about a nice warming trend on the way for the region. First, let's talk about some of the sunshine that we are already seeing across the area. Denver's already getting a peak of blue sky, and we have got a lot of this moisture starting to scoot off towards the central plains right now. There's your area of low pressure that was previously towards northern California the last couple of days, now quickly ejecting into uh, the northern tier of the U.S., and that is going to uh, still uh, pivot some moisture across parts of southeastern Colorado. Uh, but we will start to return to more of a west to east flow across Colorado tomorrow. And that's actually going to cut off some of this moisture. So we will start to get drier conditions not only tonight, but really over the next several consecutive days. Some of these stray showers and thunderstorms west of I-25 are only thriving on afternoon daytime heating. So as soon as we lose that, these are going to collapse and fall apart. So they're not really going to make it to the interstate. Uh, we have really seen most of our action earlier today for El Paso County and Pueblo County. These storms or more showers rather moving towards the eastern plains will continue that track. We'll still have some overnight showers here across parts of Kim, Branson and Los Animas County. And of course, you'll notice that we are clearing out as we move past about 10 p.m. this evening. If not before then, we'll have some sunshine coming through for tomorrow. Don't forget the sunglasses as you step out the door. You'll thank me because, you know, nothing is you know more alarming than having two days of cloud cover and then stepping out the door and you know feeling grumpy on the way to work because you're trying you're just squinting so bad that's how it's going to feel tomorrow and uh, you know have a couple days of cloud cover you don't realize how jarring the sunshine can be at times right even though you're grateful to see it it's very bright you're like, gosh, I don't remember it being this bright. <laughs> we've had the not desensitized to it just yet because we've been just socked in with clouds. The temperatures are going to be in the 70s to low 80s tomorrow. 83 in Fremont County, 85 in Pueblo, near 70 degrees for the Wet Mountain Valley and into the 80s for the southeastern plains. Hey, the Pikes Peak Regional Air Show kicks off this weekend. One of my personal favorite events happens only every other year in southern Colorado. So get out and enjoy it. Uh, it's going to be uh, happening this weekend. Ample sunshine on tap. Temperatures in the 70s and 80s. That's going to translate to the 60s and 70s for Woodland Park. We'll be dancing on sunshine for the entire weekend or walking on sunshine, as they say. Sorry, I'm not as cool as I'd like to think I am sometimes, but uh, that's that's what they call it. Canyon City, 83 on Friday and then plenty of sunshine through the weekend. Colorado Springs rising into the 70s to low 80s. I tried, Danny, just not as cool as I used to be. You're a meteorologist. Aren't you like always cool? No, 